Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a new video. In this video are we doing another banner load podcast and we are here today with Logan from the Log Show. Yeah. And he, and uh, his channel is in the, the description down below. Go and check his channel out. Uh, and uh, yeah, are you ready to uh, go to the first question? Yeah. Uh, okay, so the first question is: Do you think Bannerlord can reach e- everyone's expectations? I yeah, I think it will because it has had so much hype like built up behind the game, and it's just been like something everybody's really thought about and like kind of forgotten about, but thought about again, and everybody just kind of thought the yeah. game would never come out. But I really think that because it's just been this mystery that it's going to reach everybody's expectation like especially mine like yeah. i've i've been playing it ever since like man like 2010 and god yeah. i have like like 500 hours in the game like it's it's nuts for like it's definitely the <laughs> highest game i have but i i'm so excited i just i just want it to come out i think that's what a lot of people are sitting right now yeah <laughs> uh, okay so uh question number two will you be uh, will we be able to, in your opinion, compare like the uh, amount of hype that Warband had with the Banner Lord that Banner uh, with the hype that Banner Lord is um, probably, hopefully, gonna get? Yeah, I just think that because it's like the second installment, then it's yeah. like like uh, like I don't even know, like seven years in the making, pretty much. That it's just yeah. gonna be like. Mountain Blade, but like everything wrong with Mountain Blade, but like better. And Hopefully, it just sounds yeah. like, yeah, it's so cool. Like they said, they're gonna have like a co op campaign and just like more like integrated graphics and actual yeah. fact, like different factions and stuff. And I think it's just gonna be like, like Mountain Blade is really fun and it's like almost like a cult kind of game. Like it has this really like distinct following. Yeah. And I think that is just ultimately going to transition into banner lords and i yeah i mean yeah i don't know i'm super excited for it yeah, i think it will too. i think it will i think it will blow but like warband out of the water but at the same time like it's hard to do that because like warband is so iconic and stuff yeah uh you mentioned some um points there that uh we hopefully uh, is gonna see in banner lord like you you named the co-op uh, campaign mode and stuff like that. Uh, do you think that um, like the the co-op campaign uh, will like be in the game, like when you buy it, like from the from the um, beginning, or do you think like the co-op campaign is going to be in a later uh, update or, or so? I think to like make it successful, they're gonna have to like release it right away, like with the like like the native launcher. Yeah, and. I think they're going to have that, and then they'll have multiplayer, and then maybe those custom battle things they had in Warband, but I don't know. Yeah. But, but um, I think Warband's success was like l- really light in its um, like DLC content and everything, yeah. like Napoleonic Wars and the Viking one. And yeah, I think great. like the vanilla game of um, Bannerlord's going to have the campaign, and then multi- multiplayer, and then um, maybe those fac- those custom battle things, but then I think later on they're going to release like mo- like DLC content like that. Yeah, the it's pretty good for for uh, games to to like um, um continue having uh a, like a lot of hype around it uh, by um releasing DLCs and stuff like that because it likes keep the keeps the, the interest of um the players to like continue following up on the game and everything like that you know Um, yeah it does and it just it just it looks it there's always something to look forward to that's what i like it's it's really easy yeah like the napoleonic wars and yeah you mentioned that earlier yeah Uh, i love i love that like at our internet I didn't have a com- back in the day. I didn't have a computer that could run it, which is kind of sad. But um, <laughs> we um, went to yeah. like our version of like the internet cafes, like in the states. Yeah, um, we played and just playing that mod with like my, my friends and stuff, just like land parties. It is so it. I love that mod. Like yeah. it's such a different take on the game, but it's Mountain Blade like at its core. So 
Yeah. Okay, so question number three. Um, will you buy Mountain Blade Bannerlord as, as soon uh, as possible? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... Okay, I don't think it will be too expensive, but at the same time, I could see it coming out for like full like retail price, you know? Because I don't yeah. think, I don't think Mount Blade, I don't think Warband was like ever like sixty dollars, but I don't know exactly on that. But I, I will probably buy it. I doubt it's going to be like sixty. I could see like something like, like in like the thirty to forty five dollar range, probably. Yeah. I actually sure. like think it's going to be like even less, like. 25 because yeah yeah i don't you really know. think that people are um willing to buy the game like for 60 dollars like n- nowadays like in like five years ago sure man they they could have like easily uh, sold the game for like 60 dollars uh but now i yeah. think to like uh, obtain uh the um like quantity yeah, yeah. I think they're really gonna like have to lower yeah. the, lower the it's, price. It's gonna be lower. It has to be. Yeah. Just with the years it, that have it passed. Has to be. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you mentioned it uh, like earlier. Um, what price would you um, like estimate Bannerlord to come out at? Um, I'd say like somewhere between like twenty to forty dollars, probably. Yeah. I twenty is kind of pushing it, but. I don't like with the years past. I don't think they're gonna release something like like an Xbox or PS4 title for like sixty dollars. And it's mm. kind of always been like one of those like those indie kind of games. And it's never been like full price. Like it wouldn't be like the price of like the next like Call of Duty installment or oh, yeah. like something like that, you know. And just with the years that have passed, I just think it's it's kind of hard. Like there's already a following. There's been a following for like yeah. seven years about this game. Yeah, I think that. With the time has passed, it's definitely lost some of its like um, immediate like customers. But I don't know. I'd say twenty to forty. Probably. Yeah. Uh, okay. So now to the up to the absolutely last question, and the question that I am asking all of the um, people that is on the podcast: uh, When do you think Bannerlord is being released? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, like, pretty impossible to like get it right. It is. I want to say, sometime in the fall of either two thousand. Um, oh wait, yeah, it's two that either the fall of two thousand nineteen or fall of like twenty twenty. Yeah, hopefully. I want to say like two thousand nineteen, because like I don't know, it's really seeming to like coming back in the spotlight, and they're releasing like a lot more about it. Yeah, but. Chances are, it pro- like what history has shown, it probably won't come out till like 2020, honestly. But yeah, I do yeah. think it, I do think it will come out in the fall because almost like every major like game franchise, like the new like installment, usually comes out in the fall. Yeah. Like like Smash Bros or Call of Duty, like everything usually comes like Red Dead. They all come out in like the fall. Yeah. But I don't know. It's really hard to say. It honestly could just <laughs> drop. It could honestly just drop like tomorrow and nobody would expect it. Or Yeah, that's so or true. Yeah. Or in like a couple of years from now, which is sad, but I don't know. I think because like all the new like YouTube videos coming out and like the traffic it's getting, I think it it's close. It yeah. has to be. And hopefully not like twenty twenty five. <laughs> yeah, hope, hopefully not. <laughs> so hopefully not. Okay. But, uh, this was actually the last question. So uh, thank you so much for taking for taking your time uh, to do this podcast e- episode. Um, yeah, and, uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, uh, and uh, thank you you guys so much for watching uh, this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.